Starting nice. it off with a sneeze. Bless you. How dare you? How dare you bless me? Oh, hello. <laughs> bless you, Cassandra. We back. Yeah, we back. Folks, if you don't get anymore? that, you got a reference bag, a couple apps. All right, check it out. I think it was just the last one. <laughs> I think it was the last episode because we've been gone uh, like Kelly Clarkson. Um, so. Since you've been gone. Yeah, come on. Catch up, yes. She's yeah, not the one that was saying. gone. Well, they were both gone from each other. If the, the guy's perspective, she was also gone. Actually, I think that song's about her father. Well, yeah. It is. It, well, her father is a guy. Okay, Am I correct? All right. All right. Quit doubling down, you fucking man. I'm just saying. Wow. I can't. I don't know. It's about wow. a dude. And either way, they're both gone side. from each other. Like, they're apart. They're gone. So. Just admit you were wrong. I wasn't. Incorrect. I wasn't. I'm looking at it from the other side of the story. All right. Okay. Eric, are you drinking tea? That's what yes. I learned from Fox News. Oh, my God. Oh right. God. It's that's okay. I'm drinking <laughs> Dr. Pepper. It's um, Jess is like I'm only the, drinking uh... Ch- Dr. Pepper because I want to drink whiskey so bad. <laughs> Folks, if you're just <laughs> tuning it in, um, you should really run it back. But we do have a few sober rovers in the room. I am if everyone would please stand up and um, tell us all about your um, drinking problems. It's I'm not a drinking days problem. Just sober. kidding. Just kidding. I'm over three weeks. I'm. Wow. What's I haven't been completely sober. I've drank a couple times, special okay. occasions. Uh, Eric. Well, I had. How do my we birthday. feel, y'all? Oh, that's how we feeling? Know. How do you feel, no alky? Feeling you know, like. Headed? Well, mine's like an overall diet, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling cleaner, hmm. more alert. That's more. I don't. I don't understand. What do you mean yeah. by cleaner? Like, like just inside well, that's because, cleaner. That's because you're eating cleaner too, Eric. That doesn't count. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, mine is like a full on diet. Um, mine makes me think that I might be an alcoholic, so, because I really wanted that? some, I really wanted some the other day, and I was like, Jessica, you can last, you can last, and I lasted, I made it through, but I was like, damn, I'm gonna need, like, some support systems here. Well, it's not like, you've made it 22 days, that's not, like, alcohol level, oh. alcoholic level. But I want it. Well, yeah, that's, that's okay like to want craving. it. That's different than an addiction. Because an addiction starts ruining certain aspects of your life. You don't show up for work. You're not uh, fucking engaged with friends and family. You're just like, blah, blah. All I think about is drug and alcohol. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. And I don't wow. know, maybe that's too loose a definition, but... Yeah, no, I mean, like, it's only ruining my life. So... I mean, that's the, um... Fuck. That's the Fiddler song. Uh, talk. It, it's called Overdose. If you don't know that song, check it out. It's really, really good. The Fiddler. Um, no, it's just called Fiddler. Oh, they're, they're the F- Fiddler. Fiddler. <laughs> Fid- Fiddler. F-I-D-L-A-R is how it's spelled. Um, they're a great the, band, but they only talk about they only sing about drinking. <laughs> yeah, well, he has a whole track called "Overdose" that is, I mean that 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 song is so fucking good. Will you elaborate? So you, I mean, fuck! I wish I could remember the fucking you line. Don't know the song. You only know. No, the I do know the line. I do know the song, right. but like, I wish I could remember the line because basically what he's saying is like. Even though everybody is concerned about me, it's not going to hurt them, right. which is what basically what you just said. You know, like, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. And I mean, like to just have an addition here, um, like Eric, I do feel cleaner. Um, I don't I don't wake up feeling like shit. So, you know, it's pretty great. That part's great. But I have major anxiety about the social aspect of it. Like, um, 
I was invited to go to a trivia night for true crime. How fucking cool is that going to be? I'll tell you all about it as soon as I do it. Um, but Sounds it's at a like bar. And it's they like, have, uh, they do mocktails. Mocktails, NA beers. I don't want, I don't like mocktails because it's stupid and a waste of calories. But it's in a burger shop, so I'm going to get a burger and fries and maybe a Coke or something. No, yeah. if you're going to get a milkshake. Get a milkshake. Get a milkshake. I don't think they have those there. It's a also malt. a bar. They don't. Well, they should. Okay. Yeah. They might. Okay, I'll they have nice they food. have the equipment to make a milkshake. God damn it, Do give they? me a milkshake. They're like, if yeah, you make a if, milkshake for you, they have to make a milkshake if, for everyone. If they're a legit <laughs> bar, they're going to have a blender. Set a precedent. You should get um, a virgin strawberry daiquiri. Ooh, that sounds delicious. See? <laughs> My like, dad orders good. those every time we go out to eat. A virgin really? strawberry daiquiri. He doesn't drink. So he always gets <laughs> strawberry what a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. That's actually great. I fucking uh, love that. Like, yeah, that fuck yeah. Really my great. entire life. <laughs> my, I swear to God, my sister would get them when she was like fucking twelve. Really? Which I think is weird. They're fruity. They're they're, they're good. good. But I think it's, it's like weird, right? Like, I'm gonna no, get a virgin a strawberry like a... daiquiri, and I'm twelve years old. I mean, old. how is that different from like a Shirley <laughs> Temple or a Roy Rogers? It's right. the same concept, right? But at least it's called something different than like fucking a virgin. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's literally you haven't been fucked by alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't fuck my drink, okay? Don't fuck it. But here here's another thing I will say. I am gonna go all out, balls to the wall for St. Patrick's Day. And oh. in Chicago. Oh my God, I love St. Patrick's Day. Absolutely love. Denver, almost a favorite holiday. But Denver sucks for St. Patrick's. Come Day. to Savannah. I know, I know. Um, but what Jesus I really love is Savannah just partying. My little tits Savannah off. does do it big. It. They're like top five. We're, yeah, thank you, Eric. We'll come down to Savannah for St. Patty's Day. You have a place Eric, to stay. Are you in the top five? Grand Rapids? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, we're not. We're not an Irish town. What is the top five, though? Uh, Chicago's on there. Number, Boston. number one, Boston. Boston's got to be number, number two, one. Number two, Chicago. I think New York's on there. Probably. That's got, man. Philly. That's not fair. It's so close to fucking, you know, Boston. What? You can only get one per coast, okay? No, that's not how no, it works, No, because Michael. there's a lot of little sprinkles on the East Coast no, that <laughs> consider themselves states. No, like, Irish, okay, no Irish people moved to L.A. That's that's facts. I they think they got like part. a Texas town on that list, too. Nah, they what? don't. It's Texas. Come it, on. One, it's, I forget. Texas? It's definitely no, Texas. You know what? You guys are probably right. So. It's probably it's probably Boston, New York, yeah, look Philly, it Chicago. It's not Philly. It's Savannah. It's yeah. Philly, really? It's not Philly? New York, Boston, Chicago. Are you looking at it right now, Eric? Or Boston, Texas. Chicago, Savannah is three. Wow. Okay, so we're, we're going there. Thank San you. Francisco, oh, shit. Philly. Philly's number oh, five. There you go. Okay, okay. Then okay. New Orleans, KC. <laughs> That's weird. I think some of those That's are weird. not real. Yeah, they're not yeah. real cities. Well, not real city. Not oh, that they're not okay. real city. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold, hold on. up. Cassandra's just looking up places that celebrate St. <laughs> <Saint> Patrick's Day. <laughs> but no, but really. Omaha's like... on there. <laughs> Number six. Um, hold on, I gotta find a reputable source. Savannah does St. Patrick's Day huge, and I think you guys would have a marvelous time. I, in fact, I'm trying to get my brother to come down from Chicago to come party with me. Okay, you guys. They don't visit, dye their river green, all right? Visit the we USA. The dot com says the following. Okay. okay. Now, they don't necessarily have them listed. They just have a list, if you will. That's fine. Chicago. San Fran. Savannah, yeah, New York, 
Boston. That's, that's five, the five right there. That's the five. That's, that's five right, right there. Yeah. So all, almost the same no as the other ones, order. except for Philly. No Philly. But I bet Philly is like up. six or seven. Yeah, who's the runner-up? probably up? there. I'm sure it's Philly, Eric. Philly's got it. Only, this is only like did they only go to five? Massive oh. Irish. They only, yeah, to five. they only went up to five. This article, visit the USA.com. What year is it from? 1782. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they had the internet back then. You didn't know that? 2024? Man, That's how much too. the government won't tell you, Eric. They had the they had the internet in the 1700s. Oh, I already know everything the government won't tell me. I've discovered it all. Me too. I can't say it right now because our internet's will go out. Yeah. We're probably Dude, saying did you guys, much uh, Did you guys watch the new uh, Jake Johnson and Anna Kendrick movie? Who? Yeah. I just watched it the other night. Oh, shit. It just came out, so I wasn't... I, I was very surprised that any, either one of you said yes. I, yeah. I have it on my to-watch list. I have not seen it. Eric, what did you think... No, come on. And without no, without going into detail, just tell me what like yay, nay. I indifferent. I liked it. There's one part I didn't like, and it was okay. Like the ending, how it ended. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I needed to hear, and we can move on. <laughs> all right. I mean, Cassandra, do you piece. agree? I don't want to give anything away. I could really do a deep dive, but... Yeah, I wish we could do a deep dive right now, uh, but we won't. Okay, if I had known that this was an assignment, I would It wasn't watched. an assignment. <laughs> I asked the question nah, just because just... it kind of naturally went to... Uh, Listen, it's been negative in... degrees here, so it's the true. whole weekend... I also had a lot of days off of work. That's true. So... I, we've been fucking lounging. We can't really go out. It's too cold. Can't do stuff. We were kind of hermits for about four days. Well, I was. Definitely. Three days for me, but yeah. But uh, yeah, nice. so yeah, we watched it. Because we've been trying to find some shit to watch because it's all trash. It's all trash, y'all. Get it's either trash shit. or shit you've seen a million times. Yeah. What else did you watch? Trash. <laughs> what did we watch? <laughs> we watched a lot of stand-up. Yeah, a lot of stand-up. Um, a lot of YouTube stands. Did you guys watch the new Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? What did you think? I liked it. Um, I liked it. I thought it was good. Fucking amazing. And I did I not like it. Why? Why? Because of the I, disabled joke? No, it's just, I don't know. Like, there's no point to that now. Like, before when he did it, there was a reason. Now he's just like, I don't know. Like he's trying too hard. Oh no, I disagree. There is a point, and the point is nobody's off limits, bitch. We Nothing all we limits. all joke about each other and our fucking shit and the stereotypes that our cultures and society have created. That's the whole fucking yeah, point. I'm not I'm not arguing against that, but I just feel like his delivery was not. I don't know. It felt cheap. It didn't feel. Excuse hmm. me, sir. Ernest. It's Dave I don't know, Chappelle. Man. I loved I thought, it, and I, I thought, thought it was one of his best. I thought the ending, like the way he, like, kind of like spoke to artists. I mean, he kind of spoke directly to artists, like, "Hey, believe in your shit," you know, because if you really want to, you can make some shit happen. I mean, yeah, you said some good stuff, but the comedy. I thought the comedy was didn't great. I was still laughing. Uh, I, I didn't laughing. laugh. Hmm. Did you just like put too much pressure into it? No, yeah, I, I didn't know. even. I didn't even know. Like it popped up, and I was like, "Oh, cool, let's watch it." I thought it was very funny. I really yeah, I liked the lot. whole thing about Chris Rock. I thought that was really mm-hmm. funny. That was great. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was not to take sure. away from the Dave Chappelle conversation. Did you guys watch the Cat Williams shit with Shannon Sharp? <laughs> oh, God. I watched a little bit of it. I didn't watch all two hours oh and 20 God. minutes of it, no, but I watched a little bit of it. Do you believe it? Do you believe Holy I shit. Don't, here's I the thing. Hang on. I don't, hang on. I don't hold believe, up. Hold, up. hold on. Wait. All right, Eric. What? You didn't watch it. You didn't watch it. I don't, I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything? You don't know Have about it. Have you not this? been on the internet Eric, for fucking... Two weeks? What the fuck Eric, have you been doing? He 
laid it all out. Or like, no, laid what it. all out? What is he laying out? He talked a little bit about the Illuminati and how like he like tr- he basically like comes off and is like trying to like dismantle people and like big kind of figureheads if you will in Hollywood I mean, and like trying to say that everything isn't as it seems in a way. I mean, he went after Steve Harvey, he, he went named after people... Cedric the Entertainer. He went after he, he every was like, motherfucker. I'm going to call people out on their shit. This person, mm-hmm. I don't know where they came from. Like, you never saw them in the clubs, like, talking shit about people, name dropping Kevin left Hart, and fucking right. About Kevin Hart. Left and right, he was name dropping people, saying that they weren't shit or they didn't. They, they say one thing, but it's the reality is another type of shit. Like, talked it's about crazy. Chris Tucker and, like, how, like, Chris Tucker didn't want to be portrayed as a fucking pot smoker. He was he he's he's a church guy, you know? And like all like he fucking went in on everybody. Here's what I'll say. I don't believe everything he said. I think there's probably some truth within what he's saying, but I fully believe that he believes it's true. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I compared it to Kanye. Yeah. It felt very Kanye. Yeah, it it did feel kind of Kanye. At first, I was like, oh, shit. And then the more I listened to him talk, I'm like, oh, shit. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) And then we turned it off. I couldn't. I think we fell asleep. I think we fell asleep. It was just too much. And then there were certain names that I'm like, I don't even know who he's talking about. And then, like, because he he was just going off about people from like decades ago in his past, he was going off on. I just want to say, Eric, I don't know how you haven't seen anything on this because, like, it's know, like I'm every shocked. third I mean, reel that I've I seen. Scroll through. I haven't seen anything from it, but I've seen like the memes talking about it. You should definitely at least go and start <laughs> it just to understand the energy and yeah. what the fuck he's like trying to convey. He called Kevin Hart a plant mm-hmm. in the industry. A, He's a like he plant. wasn't in any clubs. Yeah, he called him a plant. Like he was a he was an industry plant to like, I don't know, fucking like boost black people in some way, shape, or form, or whatever the fuck. I don't know. He he started talking crazy, so I don't fully understand what the okay, fuck he's speaking saying. Speaking of that, have any you have any of you watched the other black <laughs> girl on Hulu? Yeah. I've I've seen. The no. few episodes. So it's based on a book you've watched. Rashida Jones is an executive producer. Oh. Um. Fucking weird, dude. But kind of in the vein of that. I don't want to give anything away in case you want to check it out, but um, I don't, I don't there it's kind of like a mystery thriller type show. Um, but it does have like. Kind of that, I don't know, like progressive feel, I guess. But that like, makes sense. Okay. Progressive, but like using it for like evil ways. Eh. Right? Like it's still. I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to give anything away, I've but seen. like it's. Um. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's very. It's a strange show. It's strange, but like I, I didn't hate it or anything but it was just kind of weird it's kind of a weird thing to wrap your head around but then it's also like okay what i saw of it it reminded me a bit of jordan peele uh, yeah type of thing um it does kind of have that essence of it yes bizarre for sure totally bizarre and also like where is this going but then also like um... but also like (laughs) making like a, a point of like yeah you know the the culture and and things like that so yeah i I don't know i would say it's i think there's only one season maybe eight to ten episodes if i'm correct yeah there's definitely only one um okay it's an interesting watch it definitely like it hooks you in i was hooked very interesting um anyway a bit off topic but it reminded me of that but yeah yeah, Cat Williams. Cat wild. Williams. That dude. shit was nuts. Wild. Definitely at least check out a little bit of it. Like like I said, it's kind of hard to watch like the whole thing, but mm, yeah. Cuz you're just like how like 
He's always he he was like I've never actually been on like these drugs that everybody accuses me of being on and all this, but I'm like, yo, like the way you talk though sounds like a drug addict. Like you gotta understand that. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know if I believe that. He also has a lot of like God talk. Yeah, Jesus exactly. Talk, it and, goes like, look, into that shit too, which is no judgment. Believe what you want, but like. When you start having your actions be like a direct reflection of that belief, that seems problematic to me because you're just at that point you're addicted to your religion. Yeah, but like not only that, like, but like he he feels like he's like some sort of like and not to say that people can't be, but like it feels like he thinks he's some sort of like vessel. You know what I mean? Like he's he's this like I have to give this message to people, and not that people can't like feel that. Like I definitely feel that some people can and and do, but that's some Elon Musk shit right there. Yeah, that's you like know, hey, I, uh... this is all for the greater good of humanity. <laughs> Bezos. Yeah. I saw Cat Williams in a restaurant. Once. Oh shit! What? Mm-hmm, I was in Did Portland. you say what up? No, I couldn't. I was terrified. He had a whole. <laughs> he had. He was there with his whole family. So I was like, I'm not gonna fuck oh. with this guy. Like, I'm not gonna. But I was like, Dad, that's Cat Williams over there. Did other people? He was like, that's fucking cool though. Mm, I don't think so. He, like I said, he was with his whole family. So. Um, I saw I saw Russell Westbrook one time at my uh, casino. That was pretty cool. Who's that? He, at the time, was the point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder, which was my favorite team. Um, Is that basketball? Yes, that's basketball. Um, Yay. And that was pretty cool. But, like, he had security guards all around him, so there was no getting anywhere close to him. I took off all of my work clothes so I could go up just to, like, see him, to see if I could, like, get close. Did you and maybe talk get to him? You wanted to fuck him. I wanted to, but uh, security wouldn't allow it. No, they wouldn't let me get close enough. You know, mm-hmm. if only maybe if you were a woman. Yeah. If only they would have let me get close enough to put that roofie in his fucking drink. You know. <laughs> See, um, <laughs> maybe next time, Michael. Maybe next time, I'll get to fuck six foot three, jacked ass, <laughs> fucking brick shit house. Russell Westbrook. Again, I wish I knew who that was. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a celebrity. And even, the ones that I care Second about. City? Well. Because Eric saw a shit ton there. I think there was one time. Uh, you you saw Judd Apatow, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he was there with Maude. And uh, didn't say a goddamn word to him. And what's the guy from uh, Jerry? Jerry from Parks and Rec. Jim O'Hare. There... Oh, nice. Who? Um, <clears throat> Jim O'Hare. How do you yeah. know that? Because I was there that night too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> I was like, nobody knows that guy's real name. Like, outside of his actual yeah. family. Everybody just goes, Jerry! <laughs> that, that's what they do when they see him. I've never seen, I'll say this, I've never seen like a uh, A-list Hollywood star. That's you true. Know? I mean, I did kind of a little bit like way back in the day when I took a family trip to New York. I saw Rachel McAdams and Johnny Knoxville. But they were like getting into limos, getting into talk, talk show. Hold on a second. Whoa. Didn't you guys? Didn't you talk? Didn't your dad or somebody talk to Trump one time? What? I swear what? to God, your dad has told this story a couple of times where you guys were in a restaurant in New York and Trump came over to your table and like said something to your dad. I think what? that's or or the movie Home or. Alone. No. <laughs> I swear to God. Or or he like what? you guys walked by and he said something 
But I swear to God, there's there's something there. There's something no, there. No, we went to the Trump Tower and when he, we visited. And he was there. He was there, but we didn't. I don't think anyone talked to him. He was like surrounded, of course, by like fucking paparazzi I and s- security. I and swear shit. your dad said that he said something to you. Guys. I'll have to ask him. I'll have I to swear. Ask him. I don't know. Anyway, that's an A-lister right there. That's a former yeah, president. That's you yeah. know, not horrifying. at the time, but that is horrifying. Um, but yeah, no, uh, no one comes to mind. I saw Eddie Vedder going into a door once. <laughs> yep, he was going uh, into the venue, so I, I couldn't <laughs> get into it. It was pretty awesome. That is cool. I once saw some of the Wu-Tang Clan in Chicago when I worked at Macy's. But I couldn't tell you who they were because at the time I wasn't versed enough in Wu-Tang culture. And I was just like, oh, shit, that's cool. That was all it was. Now I'd be like, oh, shit, (laughs) that's so-and-so and and -and so-and-so. But like at the time, I had no idea. Um but yeah, that was cool. That was when I was selling shoes in Macy's, at Macy's. That was fun. They Eric, what do you got? At Macy's? Like what? Uh, yeah, you don't remember? It, Rich and I both sold shoes at Macy's. Shout yeah, out! Oh, you don't know about Macy's? Shout out, I, Rich! You don't remember again, this guy in fucking suits and shit? Oh yeah, I had to wear a black. I remember. Bl- I remember. All black too, in the middle of summer. The worst, like Milo, right there, all black. <laughs> wow, dude! Wow. Um, I remember that, Michael, I'm just saying, like, was Wu-Tang in Macy's or something? Yeah, they were. Why? Okay. Because that Macy's downtown Chicago is pretty sick. Is the Macy's. Okay, you're right. I mean, it's the second Macy's. The it's Macy's the second is biggest in New one. York. Yeah, it is the second. Though. It is the second biggest one, though. I haven't. Do you watch I the Wu-Tang there. series on Hulu? How crazy is that? Yes. Wu-Tang has a deal with Macy's. fantastic. Okay. I didn't know that, and maybe they didn't at the time, but maybe they just started it. I don't know. Either way, they walked through the men's shoe section. Fat, wow. And I was just like, oh, shit. And That's crazy. I was like, anybody need help? help <laughs> <laughs> and they Y'all were like, some shoes? And they were like, I got you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right. They're like, no, no. Okay. I just went Got to the you. back. I was like, all right. Can we get a pic? Okay, no, 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 no pictures? All right. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I was at work. I was trying to be professional. Where Good you? on you, Michael. Good I was probably hitting the dab bin in the back, yeah. to be honest. Damn right. You <laughs> You're like, let me see if we got your size. In the back. Come back out. We ain't up, got up. your size, homie. Oh, I forgot to look. Let me go back again. <laughs> Another hit. Classic move. The old switch em ups. Nah, we I nah, I didn't find them. And then they'd be like, Oh, all right, what about these? And I'd go and then find nope. the shoes that they wanted the first time. But, oh actually I found those. There you go. <laughs> uh, Eric, Eric, what's your you? list? Um, yeah, what do you got, Eric? Well, I mean, some of them overlap with Cassandra. Um I do got one with Hannibal Burris. He went to Old town in a house after his show, hung out with us and uh, fuck yeah. Pre- pretty sure he went home with one of the servers. Then. What? I mean, Damn, fuck. he can get it. Can't just say so, names. just so you know. Whack. Whack. A little bit, <laughs> of, little bit of Hannibal in your life. We don't have any followers. It's fine. <laughs> Pretzels is the same. I will say her name is not the brown line. What? Okay. Whatever that means. This is brown line stop. That's her name. Um, But it's not her name. Argyle. (laughs) Argyle wasn't a brown line line stop. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) Her name was Wellington. Her name was Wellington? Are you serious? Shut the fuck up. No, it wasn't. Her name was Roberta Paulson. Wellington. (laughs) That was my stop, um, Eric, by the way. Mine too. 
We had Wellington. I was Montrose. Remember, we went opposite sides. We were like, you oh, were off right, of Broadway, right. and I was off of uh, Youngfield. Montrose was Red Line. Youngfield. Yeah. I remember that. There was also a Brown That's line. crazy. Um, yeah. Good times. That apartment. So we are uh, going to Chicago then. It's elevated Brown Line. I hated that apartment. I picked yeah, it out, and I still gone. hated that apartment. Yeah, well, that was a rough one. Needed a place to live. More At least anything. you have rats. That's true. We didn't have rats. That's a plus, always. Yeah. But it was dirty as shit. Yeah, you never clean. You like literally never cleaned. Yeah. Shout you out, didn't Rich. Clean when you moved in. <laughs> you didn't clean during your time there. You didn't clean when you moved out. It was fucking gross. Yeah, it was. It was not. You good. didn't have towels. You didn't have rugs. Everything was just <laughs> cold and bare with fucking dirt on the floor. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, uh, way, you guys. I'm going to my place it where there's cat good. litter and it's it was, better. <laughs> it was not good. We were uh, we were grungy, dude. We were yeah. grungy. I mean, my was <laughs> too. Yeah. It wasn't good. Yeah, but not good my times. fault. Not my fault. You're saying. Yeah, we we're, were we're pretty grungy. <laughs> pretty, pretty fucking grungy. Look, Hannibal though. That's a pretty good flex. That's a pretty good one. And yeah, like you said, you hung out with him, which is like way That's different cool. than just seeing cool. somebody. I, mean, I will like say, a, Hannibal hung cool around fuck. him. Not very. I attractive. mean, either way, you're around. That's cool. That that's pretty I cool. mean, all I did was be like, "Hey, you want some shoes?" You breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you breathe the same air. You're one. You probably drank from the same whiskey bro- bottle, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Eric's like, fuck, I drank vodka that, that night. Is that no. it? No. Uh, I don't know. Pippi? I don't. I don't I think mean, a we all know a that Eric people. gave Chris Red chicken <laughs> tenders. Oh, yeah, Chris yeah. Red. Uh, Made him really yeah. boys. He gave Chris <laughs> Red some chicken tenders. Yeah, didn't we all? We nope, all he remembered me, though. Chris he Red. remembered me. Did Did he? Did yeah. you slide into his DMs? You're like, hey, remember me, chicken tender guy? No. He's like, how can like, I forget, Let's send bro? this clip over to Chris Red and see if he remembers <laughs> Eric. There are like three black guys in that entire <laughs> building during that he's time. Like, he's like Rapido Grande? Right. Uh, you might have something there, Eric. You might have something there. It's me, Eric. Chris Red, and Chris Wallace. <laughs> Two seasons. Dude, and Chris Eden, Wallace right? did not did not last long. <laughs> Who's Chris Wallace? Out. He was so nice, such a fucking sweetheart. And that's why he didn't last. <laughs> Had like ten kids though. I'm like, bro, you gotta chill. <laughs> did he have just ten kidding. kids? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I think he had just like a very like respectable family and i'm just like whoa dude like 10 too many he's like i have one kid i'm like yeah that's a lot that's a lot (laughs) i feel like his mom did something (laughs) like prestigious maybe like she worked in the offices at second city or something or oh fuck for real like mayor's assistant or something something like that damn dude I don't know. Damn. <laughs> That's a good scene. Okay, though. so Eric, you have like three celebs in your pod. All right, it's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Honestly, like it's hard to most think. of the time, they like I just miss them. Oh. Like I'm the I'm the Blitz. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> oh, come that's on, bro. Real shitty. I, I wish I could. I don't know. I feel like I haven't looked at my soundboard in forever. Right I can't even see it. Where are you talking? Oh no! Does my come? Oh, that wasn't what I was looking for. It's gonna be legendary. Oh. That's the one I was looking for because that was a reference. Legend Daddy. No. <laughs> no. We're doing good, y'all. We're doing good. Guys, <laughs> it's been a while, and I can't find that one either. So oh. I guess 
Uh, Here we gotta are. have a search option. Uh, it you doesn't. It does not have a search option. Set it up it when you weren't even ready. I know. Dude, you gotta clean it up. I know. I need to go through this. Well, that's... Not well, so, folks... <sighs> Eric. Yes? Eric, See, how, how's, how's your first week of school going? Um, well... It's, um... It's hard to explain. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm having a blast. School is yes. so much fun. It's everything I've wanted and more. I'm so glad. I so the program I'm going back to school with oh. pays for my classes. <laughs> But I found out <laughs> they don't pay for my books. Uh, so I'm still like <laughs> trying to save up to get my books. And I'm worried about falling behind. Um, oh, Eric, no. I'm also like taking kind of really hard glasses, taking chemistry. What the fuck? <clears throat> Why? Because I have to. <laughs> you have to take chemistry for yeah. what? For Eric, what, what, you've what? had like a semester left of college. Are you telling me that Hold like on. none of those? Let's be no, honest. Eric did not have a semester left of college. <laughs> <laughs> I had. <laughs> I had like. He's like I had four four years. Yeah, four years <laughs> it was actually. <laughs> <laughs> I still had like two and a half. I had like. I went to school for five years. <laughs> I left with like seventy-seven credits. You need a hundred twenty to graduate. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, Michael. So like a, a, a little over half. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, did any of it transfer? Because like, you don't, do you have to take that? Um, well, I didn't pass any science or math classes when I went there. It's science. Okay. Ooh, um, shit. Yeah, it's it's sorry, it's like chemistry one hundred though, so hopefully Oh good. It's <clears throat> easy. Listen, go to YouTube, you don't need the books. Fuck the books. You go online, Rip you the research pages that out. exact Yo, book. Just go to Reddit. You download it on the black web. Oh, okay. There's <laughs> one Everything one of my need. classes. Like I literally need the book. Like everything is through the book. It's an ebook, and right. all the assignments are like it's all graded through it's the ebook. There are definitely ways to get that shit. College yeah. has changed so much I in almost tried. 10 years. It's. Yeah, there's no way. Tell me, it's, send me, it's, send me, send the send book me what is, book you need, and I will find it. Eric, pop your idea into an Zybook. AI generator. Done. <laughs> but it's, I, but I still need the college. book. It's science. The book. You don't need the goddamn linked, book. It's linked directly to the grading site the school uses. So like, so you have, to, have use to that one. I have, yeah, I have to use the book. And when I buy the book, I got to go to their website put my class this is why I, number. this dude, is this why is i will never scam, go back to college man. this is a fucking this retail is, this scam is, dude this is that's ins- some bullshit and they're fucking forcing you to buy shit you don't want i will never go back to yeah. college Absolutely for that reason not. fuck those books i never bought books that's probably why i failed nah. uh, <laughs> but well, like, i thought for real like i bought when i signed I, up for the program like, I, I thought like books were included it's like go back to school get your associate's degree everything's covered i'm like sweet yeah i'll do that i would uh this is me telling on myself but uh i would always tell my parents how much books were and then i'd just go buy weed with it <laughs> michael we thank you for that <laughs> middle name Ingelhern. middle name <laughs> i mean i, I like, appreciate fuck it. that fuck that i'm not spending money on books fuck those books those books 90 percent of the time they'd be like you need the book, and then you get the book, and they never tell you to open the book. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck I'll that! I'm what. not buying the goddamn books." I love my books from school. Now, not the fucking dumb gen ed shit. 
What the shit I actually like? I kept all those books. Now, have I opened them in fucking 10 plus years? No. But they're still nice to have around anytime I want to peruse. I, I still have my Audio Basics book. Yeah, we both have that. Which I don't look at ever. You, but... you never did. That's why you failed. <laughs> no, my Audio <laughs> Basics, I was great in that class. The problem was the fucking science of like, here's how sound works in your ear, and here's why your ear works. And I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You need why do I have to learn, learn that You need stuff. to you give a fuck. fuck. Fuck that. You need it's to bullshit. give a fuck for the test, and then you fuck off with it. That's I, it. Fuck that class. Listen. That class can eat a dick. I went to college prep high school, and you know what it taught me? It taught me how to bullshit through life. You That's fucking how you, you, gotta you, do. you whiz it up, you inject yourself with the knowledge right before the test, you get it all out, you were you fucking bleh, you barf it all out. Mm-hmm. You fucking pass. Flying colors. Never could. And then you don't remember a goddamn thing again. <laughs> you never actually get anywhere in life because you never learned anything real. And it's a nice well, lifestyle. You get <laughs> No, that's kind of like opposite of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> like I'm, I figure if if I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna try to learn something, learn some shit. Hell yeah, better myself. I mean, you should. Oh yeah, sorry, Eric. I'm proud of you for experience. going back, but I'm just saying I will yeah. never do it. Yeah, it's uh, tough. I will never yeah. do it. Yeah. Good for you. Michael's not cut out for it, so I don't want to do it. You're right. I'm not. It's not for me, and I should have realized that sooner than I did. Well, good thing you uh, ended up in Chicago. Yeah. Otherwise, you might have been right back in smack dab, middle of nowhere, milking <laughs> goats. <laughs> <laughs> Working at the factory. Yeah, killing myself. Making Literally. $20 an hour. I probably Woo-hoo. have a bullet in my brain somewhere. You're able to buy a house, though. It's a trailer, but it's a house. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a yard with my truck yeah. in it. Bullet in my fucking brain. Aww, That's what Michael. Well, you wouldn't even be Michael. here. That's right. Michael. I wouldn't even be here. That's not true. You'd find a way. Nah. You'd have a bunch of kids by now. You would. Do I regret it? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably. See? A bunch You'd of bullet hating, in my head. Hating every minute of it. Yep. That's that's what you would A be. deadbeat dad. Wow, dude. At the bar every night, the one bar in town. Everyone knows him by name. He knows he's supposed to be at home, but he ain't. They're like, I'm <laughs> oh, telling here comes Shelly. Shelly like, comes ah. old Mikey Jr. again. <laughs> Mikey Jr. comes to pick him up from the bar because the bartender called home and was like, No, oh, he's yeah, Mikey Jr. I am <laughs> not Mikey Jr. <laughs> he is Mikey Jr. Eric, you're a thousand percent right. First of oh all, my God. No Mikey Jr. Jr. <laughs> Mikey Jr. No Jr. Secondly, the cop knows him by name. It's that small of a town. He's like, "Come on, Mikey J. Your parents are gonna be pissed." <laughs> what you like, actually? I'm thirty years old with a family. You guys want to know what actually be true? I'd be in jail because I would have I, I would have gotten a weed possession by now. He would have turned to meth. No, I wouldn't have turned to meth. He wouldn't have any teeth. I wouldn't have turned to meth. Or eyebrows. I just straight up would have a bunch of weed convictions and would just be in jail. You'd weed. be in jail forever in Indiana. Yeah. He'd be uh, getting that soap slipped out of his hands quite a bit. Quite too many times yeah, probably that he'd too prefer. Many. Yep, right up his butt. Sorry about it. You'd still have the kids, though. You can't get rid of the kids. I'm sorry, but they're there. Yeah, they're well, there forever. I'm in jail, so never seeing them. Wow, dude. You think you're going to be in jail forever? <laughs> hey, I got a question. If you heard that I was arrested, what would I be arrested for? Oh, that's a great fucking question. Public urination. <laughs> what? Okay, that's fair. No. Just drunk as fuck, Jess. See what like, I mean? I Eric is fucking... like, I gotta change my drunk Piss. image. I think <laughs> you would be drunk and disorderly, but only because you would start talking back to the cops and be like, no, sir, no, you're wrong. And they'd be like, you can't talk back to me. 
I'm the highest pig there is. And you're like. <laughs> <laughs> they call themselves a pig. <laughs> I'm the pig. I'm the pig. I'm king pig around here. God damn it. <laughs> Just is like, do you know who my dad is? <laughs> That's right. The biggest oh, pig. Shit. No. Oh, shit. That's fucking uh, good. Now nah, they, they get you for like fucking Dick witchcraft Bud. or something. They'd so, like, ah, okay, so what's with the cats? Be drunk and disorderly. That's okay. I'll accept that. I will accept that. What do they call that? Um, whoa, dude. They call that. Um, so. Uh-huh. Not like resisting arrest or anything, but it's like, like talking back to a cop, like insubordination or something. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. I like it. Michael would get arrested for drug possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it would yeah. only yeah. be because of profiling those <coughs> fucks. Mm-hmm. They He's always the profile him. It's bullshit. Or and like his overall for... demeanor. It's because I'm black. I don't think that's how that works, White Michael. White Michael. <laughs> White Just to be clear, not Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson in the early years, okay? I was going to say, or or maybe Michael Jackson in the later years. <laughs> Am I right? Ooh, that Dr. Pepper's so spicy. Eric would be arrested just for being black, probably. Yeah, that's I don't know. I, I ask mean, him. he's in the wrong place. I, <laughs> wrong place I've at the wrong time. Pulled over in Chicago with weed. <gasps> Eric, no. Like, they rolled up when I was holding the paraphernalia. So, like, I'm the one they called over to their cop car. <laughs> It was down an alley, too. Down an alley. Oh, my God. Thought we, were, thought we were being sneaky, sneaking out to the alley. But the cops rolled down the alley, bust me, call me over, take my ID, run it, give it back, tell me to be less obvious, and then drove away. Oh, yeah. gotta love the city cops. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we don't have time for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I should mention it was an alley and a bar in Boys Town. Oh, yeah. Even better. yeah. But also, <laughs> they always check your ID if you have any priors. They'll fucking start questioning. If right. not, they're like, yeah. all right. Or or warrants. If you got anything, yeah. they'll just be like, okay. Yeah. Now we'll well, I it. mean, I had an out-of-state ID, so probably just like mm, college student. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Be less obvious, man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we had that happen outside advice. of uh, Kyle. Yeah, but I was we were in an house. alley. How, how do I be? We had even the same less thing happen. Mm-hmm. It was two females. Two female cops. And I feel like that's relevant, so I'm gonna point it out. Yes. But we were wow. in the back alley of the very, very north side, Chicago. Not quite like Rogers Park area, but like you know, north. Like red line north. I'm trying to remember the fucking stop. It was like the second to last stop, I feel was like. Was it Argo? <laughs> it was Kyle That's... Miller's spot. Do you remember that area? Yeah, on wasn't like that Kyle Argyle? Nikki's? Yeah, it was around that area. Was yeah. it? I think it was Argyle. I think you're correct. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we uh, took it out back because we weren't, we were trying to be respectful and not smoke inside. And we should we note... go out in the back to the alley. Yeah, we should note that Kyle's uh, door to his place was literally the first left inside the like lobby. Yeah, <laughs> so it was like the main entrance. Everyone walked right by the front right. door. Right. So like smoking oh. inside, he had gotten in trouble like a couple yeah. of times. It was obvious for was smoking. smoking so he was like, "We smoke in the alley." So we went and smoked in the alley. So we go to the alley out back. We're smoking, and it's what a J, a blunt, something it's of a blunt, the sort, I believe. And cop rolls up, cop car, whoop, oh, or however they no. sound. <laughs> it actually wasn't that dramatic, but for the story. Anyway, <laughs> two females waltz out of the car, and they're like, what are you doing? We're all like, oh, no, oh, no, but also half-baked. I had the 
uh, blunt in my hand, <clears throat> but there was also a fence, like a chain link fence behind me. So as soon as I saw him, I fucking like threw the fence and just nice. kind of like tossed it behind me in my back, behind my back, just in the fence. So they were like, yeah. they were basically like, where is it? And we were like, it's gone. Like, we don't have anything. Because it's just smoking behind you. But they could, <laughs> right. they never Fire saw it. Starts. Yeah, but you're probably right. But, like, they uh, they never mentioned it. No, they said, um, have you not heard of, like, the spoofs? Oh, yeah, they asked us. And we're like, excuse me? And they're like, yeah, you know, the fucking, like, toilet paper roll, dryer sheet. Like, do that trick. Why don't you just do that? And we're like, what? It doesn't work, you well, idiot. Well, we're, I mean, we, like, it's whatever we were like well we have neighbors and whatever yeah and they were just like okay well then they asked for like all our ids i don't think i had my id with like on no, we all had it we, we all had we? our ids yeah because i remember that like we like they they took all of our like info but like my info was still my indiana license so yeah. like it was just my parents place and i was just like whatever yeah yeah but they were basically like the same thing like don't, don't be, be so stupid. obvious. Yeah, don't yeah. be stupid. Yeah. Don't be so obvious. Well, that's a great lesson for us all. Oh, yeah. we also had when we were driving from Colorado oh, to yeah. Nebraska, we had a lot of shit in the car. Wow, I'm a drug we could mule. have gotten in trouble. We could have gotten some real shit. We were lucky that we got stopped in on the Colorado side. It was right before yeah. we hit the border. Oh, because wow. let me tell you, Nebraska cops, they don't fuck around. Especially if you have Colorado plates, mm -hmm. they profile you. Yeah. We've been it's followed It's a very before. notorious Remember thing that? for Nebraska because it's a border state. Yeah. People traffic. And yeah, we were right, right before the border. We get pulled over for mm -hmm. speeding. Yeah. I was running going, pretty quick. We were but going pretty fast, I'll also but... say that I got past like I was standing still, and I mm -hmm. think that guy fucking woke that cop up, and that's why I got pulled over. Yeah, we were the tail end. <gasps> oh, bummer of the yeah. traffic, you know. Um, but not too shabby we because had, another getaway. We had just <laughs> smoked a blunt, yeah. like literally, just threw it out the window type shit. We had our personal stuff in the in the middle console we had a bunch of shit in the back like edibles, ounces, ounces edibles carts etc dabs at the time like we had so much shit in the back Damn. seat on the floor <laughs> and the guy's mules. like where is it yeah i mean he as soon as asked. like he I, I like rolled down the window he was like like so, uh, how much weed have you been smoking? Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. What? It may not have been, but yeah. it was very blunt like that. Yep. And I was like, to be honest with you, sir, I was like, I haven't smoked anything today. I was like, typically I do smoke in here, but we're going on a bit of a road trip. So I'm not, I'm not smoking anything. And he was like, okay, well, what do you have? Cause obviously, so I remembered, I was like, I have like an eighth. There's an ounce right next to the eighth, but I have like an eighth <laughs> of weed right here. So I'm just going to show him this eighth and be like, this is what I have. I shit you not. I open it for this man and he looks at me and he says, smells delicious. Mm -hmm. He sniffs what? and he takes a big no. whip and he goes, I good. swear to God, he said, smells, smells delicious. delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, this is all you have? I was like, yes. I was like, this is all I have. Uh, he's like, all right, well, I'm still going to get you. I'm still going to get you for speeding. But once you cross that border, those those guys aren't going to be as nice. So he gave wow. us a warning because he like, was also I'll like, where, fucking you know. ticket. like, I'll take a speeding ticket. Yeah. Yeah. All fucking day. Yeah. Please don't search this car. He asked. He asked us where we were headed. Yeah. Like, dude, I was panicking. I was like, I'm so glad I'm not driving because, like, I would not have been yeah. composed. Sander was like, Oh fuck, oh fuck, and I was like, Just calm down. Yeah, I, got this. I was panicking. I was like, Oh my god. Oh, good we're for fucking, you, Michael. We're going to jail. 
I'm fucking trafficking right now. It's like I said, all, all of those things hit me at the same time. I was like, all right, I know it smells like weed. This guy's clearly going to ask about it. I was like, also, I know I have this eighth right here. I was like, if this guy is cool, we can get through this. And he, yeah, we're, okay. we he got lucky cool. as fuck. He was cool. And I'll tell you, know you Jim, what. Or Jim knows you. <laughs> I've never had an issue with Colorado cops. They have always given me warnings. I have been speeding through mountain roads and a cop has been coming like, like on, you know, opposite direction. And I've been speeding and they just flash their lights, like slow the fuck down. Like they're so cool. I've, I go like 20 miles over the speed limit next to cops and they're just like, eh, whatever. Like they'll just either flash the lights or like they don't give a shit. It's crazy. But like. I grew up in Nebraska, and those fucking cops do not fuck around. They, they take don't. any chance they get to fuck mm-hmm. you. They just, they are fucking hard asses, dude. They do, they don't fuck around. As, as and soon it's as we scary. cross over to Nebraska when we go to no, Omaha, sorry, I don't know why that happened. Uh, as soon as we cross over into Nebraska, when we go to Omaha, we always drive like maybe five over the speed limit at best because we're just mm-hmm. like, it's not worth it because we always have mm-hmm. weed on us. Like, and that's the only way you can truly get pulled over unless you have like a fucking mechanical issue or a lights yeah, out, whatever. Which we but always like, check that shit yeah, too. Before we always we leave. tune it up before a road trip. And unless you're speeding, they have no reason to pull you over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, right. we drive with traffic. And I mean, there are people with Colorado plates driving like, you know, 85 oh, and yeah. shit. And we're just like, Fucking good luck. Yeah. Hopefully you don't get pulled over if you got weed on you, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, because yeah. we know they'll fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Scary stuff. Yeah. You Pretty live crazy. and you learn, though. You live and you learn. Smoke weed That's right. <laughs> you gotta keep awareness, you know? Yeah. You never know who's lurking. Those Midwest states will get you. <laughs> I had a scare in Chicago once when I was uh, dealing weed. I would try to get a little edge over the competition, so I would deliver. And I was just coming back from a uh, delivery, taking the train. <clears throat> I was one stop away from my stop. And that stop, cops with dogs get on the train, the train I'm on. And I've got like an ounce and a half in my bag enough to get arrested in Chicago at the time. Yeah. It was decriminalized up to an ounce. So you would have just been over. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, like I'm one stop away. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> and like the dogs, like they're, I was at the far door. They got in like the near door, but they were walking towards the far door mm-hmm. just to build up the anticipation. Oh, and I'm like, God. man, <laughs> this is it like they're definitely gonna smell it i definitely just smoked too yeah this is it turns out they're just drug do- or uh they're bomb mostly dogs. bomb dogs yeah it's yeah. like mm-hmm. it's kind of like the uh the airport mm-hmm. oh my god they don't really awful. care about drugs but i was high and paranoid yeah so. <laughs> And those dogs are intimidating with the fucking oh, guy yeah, and sure. all suited up. Yeah. Holding the leash. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm fucking done, dude. I'm going to get yeah, beaten up real. before arrested. <laughs> Fuck, these dogs are going to chew my face off. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know how you stand at the doors when you're in, you like, your shop's next. Mm-hmm. They went and stood on the other side of the door. The dog sat, looked at me. I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> The dog knew. He's like, yeah. he's like, I, I know, like, I, I know. What's up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Look, with man. you so hard. Not... You're like, please, dog, please, just be cool. He's like, like I'll I'm not be gonna cool. fucking bust I'm you. I'm gonna remember this. I'm bitch. not gonna bust you, but god damn it, I know. That's so funny. Oh my bitch. god. Yeah, dude, those Sorry, fucking dogs on the train. <laughs> we were just talking about this. That was the most terrifying. Like, <laughs> I always had to go on the train to pick up. And so yeah. you always yes. had to take the train back, right? And yes. I would always be like, fuck, 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 fuck. I hope there's not a fucking dog. And I knew, because I had friends that be that would that were like, yeah, it's just fucking bomb dogs. Like, don't worry about it. I'm like, 
I know, but what if it's not? Dude? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Like, what if the one time I get fucked? So I would just panic. And, like, every time I'd get, like, the dealer would put, put like, dryer sheets over it, wrap it, fucking rubber band it, plastic bag, plastic bag, plastic. Like, yeah. all kinds of fucking shit to try and, like, help. It never fucking helped. Like, dude. Okay. But, yeah, terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, hello. Uh, but that's why. Yeah. Mike's you can get to him fast. A vacuum drawer. Hello. All right. There you go. Right. Mason jar. That's what it's I have. Not, it's not really a mason. It's a. Uh oh. What's happening yeah. over there? My mic is fucking up. I think it's time. Oh, you're to get getting a new, new one for Christmas. I've had this one forever. Yep. Time to get a new one. Uh, which is sad. But... Anyway. But uh, I was gonna do this. Banter. Oh, oh gosh, yes. hello. Yeah, hello. Is it? There we go. Holy shit. I was gonna say, is it or is it? No. Uh, All right. Okay, I don't know what's going on over there. All right. Okay. Bye. All of these police scares are making me paranoid. No, you're fine. No, you're you don't have to take the train. You're good. Yeah. Ain't no dog. You're in your house. You're good. (laughs) Nothing to worry about. (sighs) Smoke some weed, dude. Life is good, bruh. Life is good. Life is so easy. Nothing's ever (laughs) hard. That's right. Right. A breeze and a half. Been my experience. Yeah. I've like mm-hmm. only felt happiness and joy. Right. And it's weird when people like complain, you know? Yeah. It's like why? Yeah. Like so you I woke was... up and took a breath today, bro. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did do that. I was thinking that when we're in Chicago we should do like photo shoots. Photo so, shoots. So like so like bring clothes. <laughs> I oh, don't shit. have clothes to bring. This is like the fanciest thing I own. Should we just like wear togas instead? Just, I don't like, want to bring a full sheet. It might be cold. that is kind of a lot. We could just buy a sheet. What like, if we wear clothes. like all black? What if we all wear all black? Like we're rock stars. I could do that. <sighs> That's tough for me. I've got a cat. What? With that a black cat, so you're fine. Um, he's got white hair too. What does that have to do with anything, what? Eric? My black pants get furry. Oh my god, get a fucking lint roller, get bro. Cat stains. No, what are that's you a waste doing? investment. Oh my god, you don't have it's a lint not, roller with a pet? Not. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Dude, you need to rethink this like now. That's insanity. It's too much you He's absolutely got too much need to have you need a device look they have all kinds of like brush things that like suck up the hair whatever the fuck get whatever the fuck works for you but you need something are you crazy jess you yeah. have something right you have a lint have roller something. or something come I on something. dude I have a lint roller if I gotta like dress fancy. And you know fancy, what? This this little guy, this little guy over here. Like, everything has else, it's a lost cause. Yeah, but his he's he's long haired, very long haired. Okay. Like I can. This is the chair I'm sitting in. This is just. That's not something I want to see. Oh see no! It. Do you vacuum Sweet. ever? Gross. Do you vacuum it? Fuck. Yeah. Oh wow! That's like you need like a shop vac. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We have one. Oh, Get God. it going. I need a shop vac. I want one. I know Michael's having a hard time over there. Do you think you guys can share a microphone and we'll just do final thoughts? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, hold on. Maybe he can figure it a Hulk out. Hulk might come out. We'll see. Uh, no, no, uh, both or no, it's not working. I, both. We're having technical difficulties, but you know what? That's that's what happens Yo, with your favorite podcast. Right. Okay, there right. we go. Okay. 
I think we figured. I mean, we figured. It I gotta out. get a new mic, but uh, hopefully for now it works. Um, yeah, should we uh, do some final thoughts here? I can do some. Final thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who should we start with? You. Start with me. Start with you. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just dropped a track with my homie Kalin. Uh, go check that out. Woo! It's called Unbelievable. We put it on the Sounds Organic Music Group. So uh, go check that out. It's really cool. Um, it's a fun track. Um. I got a show on Friday for free. If you're in Denver, check it out. It's going to be fun. Actually, you won't be there because uh, it's Sunday and we recorded on Sundays. Uh, I forgot. Uh, so never mind. Uh, I'm sure that was fun. Um, let me see. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, that's all I got going on. Uh, so, yeah. Eric. Um. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know where you guys are located, <laughs> but where I am located, it is full on winter, full oh, yeah, on it's freezing. Cold as fuck. We got like 10 inches this past weekend. Damn. And it's cold. Got down to like negative 10. Damn. Wind show. It's going to get cold. But it's today. supposed to get down to actual negative 10 later this week. Good lord. You want to come to Savannah? I don't know if the planes are going to be flying. It's cold. Yeah. It's real cold. One of the guys I worked with just flew back from Canada where it was Ugh. negative 40. Yuck. Oh my god. So Ugh. I'm pretty sure you can fly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all it was like slushy at first. It was rain, snow, and then it got Super cold, super quick from Canada, from motherfucking Canada. Wow, don't no, hate. Damn Canada. <laughs> Fuck you, Trudeau. So that's where we're at now. It's cold. It's snowy. It's still snowing. So stay warm, Sunday's listeners. <laughs> I'm going to pass it off to Jess. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, it's me. It's Jess. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, how have you been doing on your New Year's resolutions? Have they been up to speed? It's it's over halfway through the first month, and so Whoa. far so good on my end. So I hope your end is also doing well. Um, is that rhetorical? Are you asking us? It is. It is rhetorical. That was rhetorical. Everything I do is rhetorical. Um, <laughs> you know. Uh, just um you know yeah right am i right right so, <laughs> yes all right so there you go cassandra over to you all right cassandra. um yeah very well said all three of you um i concur with all of that i would also just like to point out that uh what are you doing like okay all right you sneak okay but i would just like to say that um it is full winter as eric said and it's a good time to hibernate but it's also a good time to start developing the tools and the skills that you need to really come out as a butterfly this summer wow so now <laughs> Go back now to is school. the time to put in the work. Exactly. You do what you got to do to hit those goals. But I really think that winter is a great time to focus on that because nothing else is going on. Okay. It's cold outside. It's wet. It's snowy. It's gross. Nobody wants to go out and about. You don't want to bar hop. Okay. Save that for the summer. Now is when you work on your shit, yourself, whatever, both, what have you. So get into it, y'all. Get into it. All right, well, y'all know what it is. As usual, you got to subscribe. You got to like us. Okay? You have to like us. You, you have, have to. to. Uh, you got to comment, okay? If you don't, Shout I'm going to tell out. my mom. 
That's right. Slide into the DMs. Hit us up. The Sundays podcast on all your socials. You can email us. We're still waiting for them tit pics and dick pics and all the tits and bics and whatever. Bix. Lighters, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Send us your lighter lighters. pictures. You got a cool one? Uh, Let's see it. That's right. The Sundays podcast at gmail.com. All right, folks. We love to hear from you. So hit us up. You really don't do it as much as we'd like. So please do We're it. We're off for that matter. But... Um, but as always, we will see you next week. Yeah. And thanks for tuning in. Bye. Peace.